Hey, I'm gonna get some cleaning done around the house today. I thought I'd carry you along with, with me, carry the camera along with me, and uh, show you the chaos that's around here. Just little bits of chaos all around. And you know what? You know what they say. <laughs> People are telling me I'm gonna miss this chaos one day. So I'm trying to just embrace it and realize this is my life. It's the season of life I'm in. I've got, you know, little bits and pieces and reminders that my kids are little around here and this will not last forever. I'm seeing that clip going around on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen it. It's like, oh, you know, the bunch of toys, the toothpaste. It won't be like this forever. They won't be little forever. One day it will all be gone and you'll be able to have that super clean house that you are striving for because you'll be empty nesters, right? So all those little pieces all around. It's like life moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. Anyone know that movie quote? It is a classic. Come on. You got to know that one. Bueller. Bueller. Gave you a hint there. <laughs> if you don't know it after that, I can't help you anymore. <laughs> okay. So uh, you saw me pull in that crib. Have I done anything with it yet? Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I recently got that mini crib off of Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for something. You guys know I always like to buy secondhand if that's possible. Found this mini crib, perfect, great. Alex picked it up. The mattress doesn't fit inside of it. I don't know if the lady gave us the wrong one. I don't know if she didn't have one that fit. I don't know. So now we've got some random mattress laying in up against our, our wall here in our bedroom and we are without a mattress in there. So now I have to spend even more money <laughs> on a mattress. Uh, to fit in there because we have a crib so obviously we have a crib mattress you know that we've used for our other children but it is the normal size and I just don't want like it's just so large and in charge and I their rooms aren't ready and who the heck knows when they will be so I thought getting a mini crib would be the best option and now I have to it's just like ugh, why you know anyway I'll get over it and we'll find one on Amazon and hopefully it'll be affordable. <laughs> I'm still looking around. I have to take measurements and stuff. So I'm also putting Wolfgang's clothes away. Speaking of time going by too fast, you guys, it's like every time I put his clothes away, every time I do laundry, he's growing out of stuff. So I'm going through this. I made a pile that is out of frame, but it's all the clothes that he's growing out of. His three to six month, zero to three. I found a few in there. And like, I try not to, well, maybe I should dwell on it a little more, but I try not to like oh, get in two in the moment. And I just, knowing that he's growing, he's my last baby. So sometimes I can get a little emotional about that. I've been, it's been a lot better <laughs> now that I'm six months postpartum, actually almost seven months postpartum. By the time you're seeing this, seven months postpartum, because it's gonna be May. Oh yes, you know that one. So anyway, he was born September 30th. So every time there's a new month, he's also a month older. <laughs> he's a day older every new day. Anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to say is that it's just a visual representation of how fast time goes by. Oh, just like Ferris Bueller said, you got to stop and look around every once in a while. And with five kids, it's hard because we're just busy, busy, busy. Summertime is coming up and that is when we load in as much family time as possible. We try to do that every weekend, try to fit in family time every weekend. And, uh, you know, it's it's a balance. Life's a dance. So says Garth Brooks. Is that a Garth Brooks song? I'm pretty sure. No, nope. mm, something Walmack. It doesn't matter. It's a good one. Those country songs, those 90s country songs, they always hit you right in the feels. Anyway, so I made a pile um, of clothes to donate, and I'm not sentimental. I don't keep, like, all the things. Oh, he wore this at his four-month checkup. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not that person. Maybe I'll regret not being that person, but I got to tell you, when my aunt was down visiting, she was telling me about sentimental items that she kept for her kids. She had one tote for each of them, and as they got older and as they, you know, are going through milestones in their lives, she decided to take the box down and share it with them. And they looked through it, sifted through it, and they were like, okay, cool. <laughs> and she was like, wait, that's it? <laughs> like, well, I spent time doing this for you. So that's how I feel sometimes. Like, am I going to keep this stuff? And is it going to be 
cherished or is it just going to be like, are they going to care about it or am I just going to waste space in my life storing this stuff that I don't know, like who, I guess it depends on just how sentimental you are and maybe they'll want it in the future and you know, all that good stuff. So I don't know. I try not to be a pack rat. I am a pack rat when it comes to clothes. That is one area in my life particularly right now because I'm going through a transition with like what fits me and what doesn't. And so I, a part of me doesn't want to go through my clothes and get, get rid of things in a haste. But also I go in my closet and I'm like, oh, overwhelmed by just how much I own and how little of it fits me. So I don't know. I might be going through that soon. I definitely don't do it in this video. I don't know. Deep breaths into That's got to be a whole day of me doing it. It might take a couple of days. But anyway, um, that's I'm like a pack rat when it comes to that. But I could easily get rid of stuff. I'm not emotionally attached to clothing and not even my own. I just like to have options. You know what I mean? I'm just a girl for all the seasons. I got to have a little something. I got to have my options. I'm already in the living room. Look at this. And Avelina is definitely not a sentimental human yet either, especially with clothes, because that girl... This is her pile of clothes that she decluttered. And I was like, those gray pants? I said, I just bought you these gray pants. Like what did, um, what, you know? <laughs> like, did they not fit you? Why am I not returning them? Like, obviously they don't have tags and she's worn them once. And I guess there just wasn't her vibe. She wasn't feeling it. They were uncomfortable, yada, yada, etc. So I went through her pile of clothes and kept what stuff that I thought Eleanor might like. And then I put the rest of the stuff in the box that we were donating. So that box is full of uh, donation. It's just nice. You know, you got to go through your stuff every once in a while. And just as you're cleaning, I feel like is the most effective way for me to do it if I, you know, want to keep on top of it. And I feel like I don't keep on top of anything in my life, but I do my best and that's really all I can do, especially in this busy season of life that I'm living in. Speaking of cleaning... Wow, that needs to happen every day, right? I still have my Easter stuff up slash spring stuff. I guess it's still spring. It fits, whatever. Even though I'm making a list of summertime fun items that I need to grab. I need goggles for the kids. We might have a summertime bash. So I have an ongoing list of things that I need to grab. I want to go to the Good Target in my near future and grab some stuff for when we go on vacations at the beach house mainly. And I was keeping a running list of stuff that I needed in my head. So I figured, oh, I jot it, jot it down. I don't think I jotted it down. I think I have a running Amazon list of things that I quote need, which like half of it, do we actually need it? Nah, not really. Anyway, food is, is high on that list <laughs> of needs. But even then, it's like, can we survive off ramen? Avelina would say yes. I would argue no. We've had these chairs just floating around our house since Easter time, so I'm trying to make a pile of it. Here's a nice before shot of the kitchen for you. This is just like random everyday mess. It's not a complete disaster. This is just like how we live. I had just made banana cake. I don't even know if it was finished at that point. I think maybe it was. And uh, just tidying up just from making food for my family every day and it happens all the time if you're eating if you're not eating out I should say <laughs> gotten and gosh that's one of my least favorite things to do eat out and you know what I found while I was cleaning um, some pens that I got actually for a giveaway I got a, a set for you guys and well you'll see that in the future and then I got some for me but the kids got a hold of it and um, they've been using them obviously because they're more fun than a normal everyday average pen and they have like flowers on it And I was thinking what's your flav favorite flower? Oh speaking of the flowers that I put in a vase Oh, did you hear that? I said vase because I'm so fancy <laughs> The flowers that I put in the vase at the top of this video Meredith grabbed them for me from our neighbor's yard and it's just so sweet, you know, stop and smell the flowers every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of flowers per se. I, my favorite flower, I always say, is cauliflower because it's edible and useful. But there is a time and place for flowers to be beautiful. I just think it's one more thing for you to take care of. One more thing that you have to take care of, you know. So not my favorite, but I also do enjoy looking at them. I enjoy having like, you know, something alive in the house other than people. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, you know, something else you have to take care of. So one time Alex got me flowers for Valentine's Day. 
I think it was maybe the first year we had been married or maybe the second year because the first year I think he was in basic training. Okay, so the second year we were married and we were living overseas. So he got me this enormous bouquet of, I don't know, just a whole arrangement. Roses, carnet, I don't even know what flowers they were because I'm just not well versed in horticulture. Is that what it's called? Horticulture comes in flowers. What's that movie from? Hold on. Hold on, let me think of it. Hot Chick. It's from Hot Chick. Boys are cheats and liars. They're such a big disgrace. Anyone remember that? Oh my goodness. You know what else? Other movies? I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, Meredith got me flowers from our neighbor's yard. And uh, it's just good to appreciate them. But you know what movie? I hope that kids these days do stuff like this. And maybe it's like TikTok dances. But back in the day, my friends and I during sleepover, what dance did we learn it had will ferrell in it will ferrell movie oh hold on superstar that's what it was oh that was a movie and a half you guys has anyone seen that these days is that rated r should i share that one with my kids i don't know i'm gonna have to look into it anyway that was a good one there was some kind of dance in there and then there was obviously bring it on yes oh my gosh my girlfriends and i we learned the entire dance of the intro to bring it on and we recorded it yes back before like recording was it we didn't post it anywhere we just recorded it for fun and then would watch it back and oh my gosh even just years later getting together and watching it back it's hilarious but now obviously people like post for different reasons and they you know go on tiktok and all of that stuff but Man, it, that, those were the good old days. Am I right? We used to do a lot with our camcorders, and that was a grand old time. I remember getting my camcorder for Christmas, and it was attached to my hand. Mm, that was when I knew I would be a YouTuber, way before YouTube even existed. <laughs> that was me. That was my, Those were my audition tapes, okay? Oh, I was way funnier back then. All right, anyway. More entertaining, anyway. Less distractions, I want to say. What did you guys do at slumber parties and sleepovers? You guys know we obviously ate banana peppers <laughs> and memorized dances, put on our own talk shows. Yeah, we were we were the cool kids. Oh, my gosh. And we would do, like, makeup. I hope kids these days do this kind of thing. I mean, I, I watch my kids have sleepovers, and they get really creative and really funny and put on shows and stuff, so... That's my favorite. Man, that is just my favorite. Watching kids grow up. It is bittersweet, isn't it? It's like, I've got it all. Baby, middle schooler. And it's it's cool to see the different seasons of life in them. And then also it puts it into perspective for me. Because, you know, when you have a bunch of little kids, like four under five, I see some people who are like, I got four kids. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I have five under 12, <laughs> so it's a little different. And it puts it into perspective for me because I can see, like, I can see what a middle schooler is like. And I, and I know, like, how fast that time has gone by. So I think I've got a pretty good grasp on it. But it's still, you know, difficult and challenging to see it all unfold and just to be in the hard seasons of life and, you know, knowing that it won't last forever, but also... Uh, will it? <laughs> Some days it sure feels like it. Oh, okay. So in my video that's either coming up or I post already, I don't know. I'm currently editing three videos, so I'm not sure which order they're going to come out in, but I threw a load of wash in. I did the Blue Land laundry tablets, which I'm enjoying. Low waste, what does it say? Clean clothes, clean planet or something like that. Love that. And I said, you know, I'm feeling domesticated. I was making banana cake and all that good stuff. And I thought, let me hang dry the clothes. It wasn't the best way day to hang dry the clothes because it was kind of cloudy. Just kind. Of. I mean, that Florida sunshine was at 50%, which to us is pretty nice. Okay. And I threw them out there anyway, and I let them dry for a few hours. And by the time I brought them inside, I would say they were 95% dry. There were a couple of towels, obviously, because they were heavier and hold a lot more liquid. They needed to be thrown in the dryer. And I just threw everything in just to give it a nice fluff, but just quickly. It didn't last long and it's just nice. And talk about having a visual representation of like how fast kids grow. Like look at our clothesline. You know, baby clothes, toddler clothes, bigger kid clothes. And it's just 
bittersweet. I don't know. There's no other word for it. But I do love doing stuff like this, like slowing myself down and hang drying clothes. Really, this probably took me, I don't know, five minutes, 10, 10 minutes max, right? And so I hope to do this more often. But it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to even just find 10 minutes and think, oh, is it even worth it? I can just throw it in the dryer. But I like to save electricity when I can. That's why I like sunlight so much. The sun is so pow- powerful. It's so great. Speaking of, do any of you have solar <laughs> solar panels on your house? We looked into it like for a very, very long time and we're still interested. It's just the cost of solar panels. My goodness, it takes for us 10 years before we'll even see a reflection on our bill and have have it you know see a reward get our reward from it so and then you know it's how long will the panels last oh well 20 years well okay then 10 years without it is it even worth the damage to our roof and then what will that cost to replace so i don't know you let me know if you guys have solar panels because it is definitely an interesting prospect and you know something if you're trying to be more self-sufficient one of our friends is getting a, uh, I don't even know what it's called to even explain it, but you know, basically solar panels to, you know, store energy. So maybe that'll be something we'll look into in our future, but it's always, it's always something, right? It's always like a million things that you got to think about. And uh, the list is never ending the to-do list, the mental load and all that good stuff. So I just try to do stuff like this where I slow down. I'm not listening to a podcast, even though, wait, I might be, Eh, I think I am. Yeah. I picked my phone up. It's right there. What am I listening to currently? That's a good question. I don't know. I think I was listening to the Sesh podcast. I like listening to that. It's like hanging out with friends while I'm getting some things done around the house. And it, you know, it's just camaraderie and all that good stuff. I do like watching other videos too, like mommy videos. But sometimes they play music and I'm like, I just, I gotta skip through this. And true crime is also a favorite of mine, like listening to true crime. Stephanie Harlow and Derek Lavasser. They're fantastic. Crime Weekly. All right. I'm moving on to my back porch. This has been a point of contention. Okay. I don't think I even explained this to you. So the the day prior to where when I'm cleaning, we had probably 100 people stop by our house that day. <laughs> and our house, obviously, you can see, is not tidy. And I'm just like, oh, okay, you need to see this room. And it was a bunch of contractors, different people, and different workers, and then just random people, friends, and family coming, stopping by. And I was like, okay. I didn't have time to like tidy the house up and it's like whatever we live here you know I just have to people just have to accept it's not going to be clean all the time clean and tidy it's good enough and it's fine we live here and we make a mess and then we clean it up and it's no big deal I'm not the only one who cleans and it's fine but after this I was like there's so much to clean I just need to tidy this place up it's not even a deep clean I just needed to tidy it up because Lord knows every single day we got people coming over here and I, you know, I just like not only just for the people who are coming, I myself like to live in a tidy space. Everyone does. I feel like who doesn't, you know, except for those hoarders. Anyway, so I'm tidying this place up because we are in the backyard, too. And I was just ugh, but I, I don't know how to properly explain it. But anyway, I needed to tidy this place up and we had a lot of stuff left over. We even had Easter stuff hanging around, just lingering about. The kids were playing with it and, you know, just it takes time. If I see a pile of stuff, I just think, oh, well, like I couldn't bring that cooler in. The house is too heavy, especially while I'm baby wearing or holding a baby most of the time. So Alex brought that in. It's just the little things like this pile of stuff needed to go here. And when I come into a space with a lot of different things I start to make piles like different piles need to go different places and then that's how I like categorize and then I take the pile into each space rather than picking up one item saying this needs to go here because that would waste a lot of time like going back and forth right I'm sure you realize yes that's a monitor on our screen Alex got it from a garage sale for a dollar I was like what are you going to do with that and he said uh what do you say oh oh for when he works he likes to have a double computer screen I, d- I don't like that. I think it's too overwhelming for me. I like looking at one thing at a time, even though I've got 100 tabs open on my computer. It's no big deal. Okay, speaking of summertime, uh, this space needed a big old tidy up, and Alex helped me. There was some animal poop, and I was like, I just can't. So he <laughs> came out with a broom and got it for me. And it was frog poop, by the way. Alex is a part of <laughs> a Facebook group, something called, oh, identifying 
animal poop or something like that. Anyway, so he'll, t- he'll take a picture whenever we find some and people like know their stuff, okay? And apparently whatever was there was from frogs. So interesting, I was like, that is way too big to be coming from a frog. But nope, from a frog. So there's that. And uh, yeah, we we, cl- we have to clean this kitchen basically every time before we do stuff because you know there's always animals prancing around down here. So it's out in the open, it, you know, it's in their space and that's fine, it's part of having an outdoor kitchen, but I love this space so much and we're about to get so much use out of it, even more. You know, it's great because we live in Florida, so we use it 24, se- not 24 seven, but throughout the winter as well, because winter time is actually probably when we get our most use out of it because the weather is just so dang nice. Come summertime, that's kind of our traditional winter for other people because we're going inside. We're vacating to the indoors where we have AC, unless we're near the water where it's refreshing, you know? So this is one of our favorite places in the house, obviously the backyard. It was a huge selling feature for us, so we try to spend as much time out here as possible. And the kids have actually, ever since I got all of that icy juice, I don't know what it's called, like the juice, when you make ices or snow cones, whatever, I have that like icy machine that we've had forever. And the kids will come home from school and be like, hey, can we make some ices? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So anyway, they've been making their own and they've been going through that snow cone juice. Is that what it's called? Liquid? It's basically just sugar in a bottle, right? And um, that's what I was tidying up. The first drawer I pulled out because I came out here Oh, I don't know, a few months ago, a couple months ago, and I tidied up and I organized the drawers out here were disastrous, okay? Just everything everywhere, shoved into drawers, like pushed in. You know, when you're like over it and you're like, well, there's a ton of stuff in this drawer. Let me just cram it in and close it real fast, you know? So I went through and I tidied up the drawers, organized them. I do have to clean under the sink area because I think we have a splash pad under there. I don't, just so many random things, so useful things but you know could we find a better spot for them probably maybe the garage would be better because we don't use it a ton you know often enough like the icing machine we use often so we're going to keep it out here where the ice is and where they can make a mess and I won't have to deal with it right away and there's that (laughs) anyway we love being out here we love the grill area mostly we love the outdoor area being out in nature we always like to get our kids out in the sunshine that vitamin d and just you know being out in the open i think it does something for us i mean obviously it does there's a bunch of studies that prove that it does but sometimes it's just nice to be inside and (laughs) not be out here but anyway we do our best with everything everything in moderation right But come summertime, this place is gonna get a lot more love and we're excited about it. We've yet to use that cotton candy machine that I got. Um, When did I get it? Around Easter time. I thought, oh, maybe I'll be able to pull this out during Easter, but no, I definitely didn't. I mean, there was just so many people here and it, someone would have had to man the ice cream, the whatever it's called, cotton candy machine. And then I thought, oh, more sugar for the kids. I don't know if that's the greatest idea. So anyway. We didn't do it, so it's still in the garage. We'll probably bust it out during the summertime when we have, oh, all the sleepovers, right? We're looking forward to it. So we also needed to stock the fridge in here. We had a couple of, oh, what is it called? The waters, like the cases of waters. So I stocked the fridge with that, and we do have some leftover seltzer waters. And this is basically just a drink fridge. We don't keep anything else in here. Uh, mostly just for drinks. When I say drinks, I mean, oh, water and seltzer water. (laughs) It's really all we drink. And we try to keep the seltzer water to a minimum too because, well, you know, the kind, well, I don't even know anymore. The kind I used to get was just water, carbonated water with um, just flavored with whatever fruit it was. So either grapefruit, lemon, or lime. And I think that's what the Costco ones that are in there Some of the ones have extra added things, so I try not to get those, but you know, if they're on sale, buy one, get one. I'm not opposed to doing it. I think last summer, I was at my peak, okay? Well, kind of, I don't know. I did a like mom camp or something like that where I shared a bunch of like summertime hacks or summertime stuff. By the way, our ice machine, we had the karaoke machine on, so Meredith was jamming out, but the ice machine there Uh, Someone turned it off during our Easter extravaganza and we were having a hard time trying to figure out how to turn it on So I don't know what the heck was happening. I think what really happened was the um, the panel 
may be broken, like the touch screen panel. So we're gonna have to look into uh, fixing that. There's always something to fix around here. <laughs> always, it's never ending, right? One day will be ending. That's morbid. Okay, moving on. Anyway, so we're filling this fridge up with drinks and then it reminds me of our garage fridge, which, you know, during the holidays we use for extra food and summertime, I always have, well, I mean, we always have extra food out there. It's a great place for the, to have the extra freezer storage. And then also, I we ha I always get the large thing of eggs, like that five dozen or whatever it is. So that's a great place to store it too. I always have onions out there and just my bulk food, a bunch of butter and stuff. But during summertime last year, I put a lot of drinks in there and I, oh my gosh, I was like, this looks so nice. Maybe I can keep up with it. Yeah, I definitely didn't. I may have restocked it a couple of times like that. My hope is to do that again this summer. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. Who the heck knows? And uh, this is what the kitchen looks like afterwards. So fresh and so clean and feeling so good. And I love when this space is clean because you, I can see it right outside my bedroom door. So I mean, I'm looking at it all the time. So when it's clean, it makes me feel all like I have my life a little put together. All right, time to get Wolfgang out of the sling. And he has been uh, crawling around, scooting around, whatever you want to say. He gets on his little toes like a little scoundrel that he is. And I like to bring him up here. He loves the carpet up here. It's nice and fluffy. So um, he's just enjoying life. And then obviously the toys are all up here. And the kids play with him up here. And it's just... Um, I've never spent so much time in the playroom <laughs> in the on the second room of our house. I also love this area because it's out of sight, out of mind. So if the kids are up here playing and making a mess, that's fine. This is their space. This is their yes space. I mean, sometimes I get annoyed. I'm like, oh my God, you know, they're pretty good about cleaning up after themselves. That would, it was actually my mess. I was playing up here with Meredith earlier maybe the day before or something or maybe earlier this day I don't remember it doesn't matter details and uh, we were playing and then I decided oh let's go through your kitchen and organize all of your food because that's what I do that's how I play I just organize you know the play kitchen food and stuff and um, then we got distracted a bunch of people came over oh yeah it must have been the day before because then a bunch of people came over and then the skylight dilemma do you guys know about the skylight dilemma I did share it with you either in the previous video that I just posted or in a future video. So and there's a little cliffhanger for you if you want to stick around and find out the skylight drama. There's always some kind of drama happening around here, especially when it comes to the addition that they're doing. Look at him scooting all around. Isn't that just the sweetest little thing? Oh, he's so adorable. Soon enough, he will be running around and I try to delay it as much as possible you know some people see me holding him all the time and they're like oh he's no oh people said this especially when I had you know fewer kids but they were like your kids are never gonna learn how to walk or crawl or xyz you hope that their feet never touch the ground and like all of my kids are walking by the time they're nine months old <laughs> I'm like oh um can you repeat yourself please I don't know what it is I try to delay it as long as possible because once they start running around that's when that's when the challenging parts really start, right? You got to chase them. You got to make sure they're not getting into stuff. It's like just an added challenge with everything else you got going on, right? So anyway, <laughs> I'm sure he'll be walking before we know it. And yeah, I just, I'm laughing because it's just so funny the way people judge you. I mean, the reality is people judge you based off of their own experiences, their own life. So I just always take it with a grain of salt. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, nod and smile, that kind of thing. Like, all right, you got it, right? So everyone just is living their own life. Just let them live. Let them figure it out on their own because the reality is that's what's going to happen. You can give someone the best advice that worked for you and it m might not necessarily work for them. So take everyone's advice with a grain of salt and then at the end of the day, do what you think is best and what's best for your family. And that's really all you can do is your best. And you'll figure it out along the way. And that's what everyone has to do. They'll figure it out along the way. And really, the more help you get, the better. But uh, yeah, everyone has their own way of doing things. Oh my gosh, speaking of disgusting, my floors. <laughs> I did go around and clean my floors. I don't think I, I filmed like vacuuming a little bit, <clears throat> just this part. Between this though, gets the least amount of love when it comes to, you know, whenever I um, use my Bissell, which is my mop, vacuum and sweeper all in one it's my favorite tool 
my, to clean my floors because it does all in one and it saves me so much time. But that space gets the least amount of love because it's around the gate. So I needed to go in there with the vacuum and just suck it up. And then the stairs, I was like, oh my gosh, this place, this is usually a child's chore to clean the stairwell. But we've been so busy the last couple of weeks and I assume the next few weeks are going to be very busy with like, you know, end of year, end of the school year kind of thing happening. Um, and then like the, our kids were wrapping up our after their after school activities. So that's why it's been busy the past few weeks. But anyway, that's something they usually do on their Thursday chore day is clean the stairs. But you know, sometimes they get all dusty and crusty. Oh, I also wanted to share with you the essential oils that I recently got. They are like Disney blends. This one that I have going is pirate life. It's supposed to emulate the smell that's on that one ride at Disney, the It's a Pirate's Life. I actually don't even know if that's what it's called. And um, they revamped it. Now, like, Jack Sparrow's in it. Like the, um, gosh, I don't even know what the movie's called. With Captain Jack Sparrow. He's, like, in the ride now. You can see him in different parts of the ride. Anyway, I'm not a huge Disney fanatic. I'm a Disney fan. I'll say that, but not a fanatic. But maybe I'll get there. Maybe that's in my next season of life who diagnosed <laughs> but anyway so I got four different scents one is supposed to smell like the Polynesian which we have never stayed at whenever we go stay there I mean whenever we have gone to Disney in the past we used to go every th three years but it's been four I think or maybe this summer will be five the last time we went I want to say was when Wentworth turned two we got like a 10-day pass and went a few times that year it's like some water parks. We would just drive up for the weekend and go to the water park for the day. Um, but the last time we went was when Wentworth turned two on his second birthday. We went to Toy Story Land, and that was right when the Toy Story Land had just opened. So however long that's been, four or five years, somewhere around there. And um, we might go this time. I don't know. I'm, we're thinking, I'm thinking on it. Alex and I are thinking on it. It's just so dang expensive, but, you know... Sometimes you just got to take the trip. You got to live your life, save the money where you can, and then spend it to have fun. So I don't know. We're going to we're gonna try to figure that one out. But anyway, um, I, we've never stayed in like a Disney resort. But one of them, the essential oils, apparently smells like the Polynesian, which I guess is pretty um, fancy. Who the heck? I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. We always just stay in an off-grounds off um, hotel because <laughs> that's how we live our life. And... What else did I get? I got one that's supposed to smell like Haunted Mansion and something else. I don't even know. I'll try to link them below. I think it's called Magic Candle Company. You can just Google something like Disney essential oils, and I'm sure it'll pop up. I think there might be a couple brands that do it, but there's one that dominates. Okay, and, and they do smell nice. I'll say that. They smell really nice. All right, anyway, so that's what I threw on while I was cleaning this day. And uh, Wolfgang, as you can see, I'm just enjoying having two hands sometimes. And he enjoys a little time to crawl around and I'm throwing all of his toys. I'm going through Meredith's toy bins and I'm making a pile of like trash. And then I'm making a pile of stuff that needs to go upstairs. They, she has a bunch of play food down here. It's just inevitable that toys just rotate around the house. Some of them end up in the living room, some in her room and you know, most of them upstairs. So I'm just making different piles. I'm finding some of her hair bows and Basically, essentially, just putting things where they belong. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes we clean this room and we literally gather everything and throw it in a bin. And that's what's so great about having bins. <laughs> it's easy to clean. It only takes a few minutes. And uh, yeah, I cleaned her floors the other day and hand mopped. <laughs> because I my Bissell, I don't know. I think it was full and I didn't feel like cleaning it. And the next time I need to clean it. You know, if you have one of those things, it only takes a couple of minutes to clean the canister. But, you know, if you got a crying baby on you or whatever, you put it off, or I do, I put it off. And then the next time I clean, I'm like, oh my gosh, this smells like a porn up, honey. It smells like a dumpster. No, thank you. I don't want to clean it, but it's inevitable. And the longer I put it off, the worse it smells. I'm like, oh my gosh, just clean it, right? Just take the couple minutes, just do it and live, is what I got to tell myself. But, doesn't always happen and sometimes I don't feel like living and sometimes I, you know what sometimes I feel like living too much and not uh doing what I need to do I always say do what you need to do and then do what you want to do right do what you have to do and then you'll get to do what you want and that's what I tell my kids too you know get what you need done first right prioritize life that way sometimes you just gotta prioritize having fun 
and uh, other people do that better than me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing my best. Okay. So going through this dollhouse, I realized, wow, a second whole house that I have to clean. Have you seen that thing going around? It's like a meme. You know, when you get your kids a, a toy kitchen, like a play kitchen, what you didn't realize was that you're going to have to clean up two kitchens, <laughs> right? So funny. And it's the truth. I went in and vacuumed this dollhouse. I'm going through her books and just um, kind of organizing them but I mean I use organizing in a very loose term I'm trying to get all of her little toys like the Shopkins the chokeables that Wolfgang can grab a hold of these days now that he's a little more more mobile I'm trying to put those in a bin and uh, keep them out of reach <clears throat> so she won't play with them so they won't end up on the floor etc etc so all the those little chokeables and I'm realizing wow we have so many of them I, you know I think I wanted to donate them. I had them in a box when I cleaned the playroom and I brought down a bunch of stuff to donate. <clears throat> Last time I did that, I don't know, it's been a month or two. I don't, what is time? I have no idea anymore, but it's been a while and I brought this stuff down and it didn't get donated right away. It didn't even get put in the trunk right away. Okay. That's how, that's how it just happened. So anyway, I had a box of Shopkins of like the little little itty bitty toys are they even popular anymore i don't know back in the day they were and alex literally bought 200 off of someone from facebook marketplace so we have the remnants of that and so huge box never got donated so of course little hands found it and started playing with them and she loves them uh meredith is who she and uh you know she's of the age of shopkins and now they're just all over the house again. So I have to gather them up and put them together and declutter them again. So I put them in a little, la that little lunchbox that's up there. And if she asks for them, I'll hand them to her so she can play with them and then put them up when she's finished, just so um, they're not left all over the house. You know, you got to keep all those chokeables away from the crawling baby. And now, and now that he's crawling around, I'm needing to clean the floors more often and do all of that stuff so you know it's my goal to clean the floors every night but then the day goes by and the night goes by i'm like oh i haven't cleaned uh, the floors yet and then the next day goes by you know what i mean and that's just how it is he'll be fine it'll build his immune system right <laughs> he'll be fine he'll live most of the time i don't put him down unless he's on carpet or a place that i know is semi-clean you know it's good enough he'll live we all lived through it and you know what i'm thinking of getting him i'm trying to find him a walker and oh i know that's controversial avelina used to have one that went in a circle it was like a space saver one and that was the best because you know they weren't she wasn't running into walls or like and really back then we only had like one hallway that she could have gone down and I, we had a hallway table, so I don't even think a walker would have fit there. So the one that went in a circle was really the best option for us. But um, I just think with the floors we have in this house, Wolfgang would have a stinking field day just sliding all around. And then we were outside the other day and I thought, you know what would be so fun? Just letting him go up and down the lane if he had a walker. So I don't know. That's something on my radar. But I don't even know if they sell them anymore because of like, you know, some people leave them in there too long and it hurts their hip development slash they could be dangerous because I know you're not supposed to have them on a second story. They could like fall down the stairs, but that, you know, obviously like we have a baby gate and I don't know, things happen with, and then that, that's with everything. <laughs> I feel like everything can be dangerous, you know? All right, moving on to this bookshelf um, and that grocery cart, I want to throw that upstairs too. I was... Um, sorting all the play food that she had in here trying to put that together so that will all go upstairs with her play kitchen i thought that would be the perfect spot for it um and look what look what i found i found these all over the house i don't even know what it is an ultrasound photo <laughs> it in it is faded too it is meredith it is one of my favorites of her because you can see her like sweet profile and it's just so dang adorable that was one of my favorite ultrasound pictures i think i've ever gotten Ever. I never got like a really good one of Wolfgang, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I have a hundred. I don't know what to do with all of them. They're just floating around my house. I should probably make like a keepsake, maybe folder of them, but I haven't done that yet. 
if you asked me where they were right now, I wouldn't be able to even find one for you. But if you look around my house long enough, you'll find a hundred. All right. Going through this bookshelf, which is probably the worst bookshelf ever created. It's like so small between the shelves. You can't really fit any book books upright. So I just stack them in there the best that I can. And really most of the books are stored in Wentworth's room in his closet and in his nightstand. So that's fine. And, um, but I just wanted to leave some of these in here. She's got her Bob book collection, her first Bob book things. And then, um, I gave this a nice little wipe down, nothing too crazy, but I did want to just tidy up this spot a little bit. I feel like ugh, every time I come in this room, I just cannot wait until Oh, that's another thing I need to stop doing. I can't wait until X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? Like I have to learn to enjoy that she is in this room. And, but honestly, it's just, it's, I don't know. I, let me just complain. It's annoying <laughs> that my bedroom is also my office, which is also went Wolfgang's room. And you know, it's just, it's fine. And we make it work and it's fine. You know, we've had worse, you know, but it will be nice once the addition is done and this will be my office and I don't even know if we're going to keep that bookshelf is what I'm ultimately getting at because when she has her own room, um, we might just store her books. It's just not a great place to store books. It's not functional. It's too small. It's cute. So I might get her like a, a better little bookshelf. And, you know, once she gets her own room, there's a lot of waiting. Like the kids are like, oh, when we get our own rooms, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can dream about it. But who the heck knows when that'll actually be done? Maybe before Christmas. Keep our expectations low <laughs> these days. Am I right? It was supposed to be done forever ago, but it'll be done eventually. And then when it is, we won't even remember how long it felt to wait. Okay. Now putting away laundry. Okay. This is always, this is the second part of putting away laundry. It's sorting and then putting them away. And typically Meredith helps me with this. I don't think she was home right now. And then Wentworth too, they usually help me. The bigger girls do it all on their own, but the smaller two, really three, because obviously the baby <laughs> can't really help, so that falls on me. And then by the time it's time for me to put my clothes away, I don't do it. And that's partly why my closet is a disaster zone. Um, so, you know, one day my closet will be clean, but that day is not today. And that's okay. Because I can find clothes that fit me and that I wear they might not be my first option but I get to it you know toys like this won't be around forever and that's a good perspective to have oh also shoes she grew out of all these shoes so sad so sad anyway that is it thank you guys so much for cleaning and hanging out with me while I get some stuff done around the house hope you enjoyed hanging out if you want to subscribe put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time bye I threw these in the wash